Hello everyone and welcome back to the Himachal series and I'm probably gonna miss saying this because this is the last video of this Himachal series. So our next destination is Dharamkot. Now to reach Dharamkot you will have to first reach Dharamshala. So we'll be catching a bus from Buntar to Dharamshala. And please note that in Buntar the buses do not stop at the bus stop but at this circle that I've shown in the map. And in Dharamshala the buses will drop you at Maan filling station. So in the whole series, this was the most difficult and troublesome leg of the journey because the bus dropped me at 3am in the morning and the only means of transport available at that time was a taxi driver who was charging awfully a lot. But luckily the Dharamshala bus stand happened to be very nearby. So I decided I'll walk till there and I'll wait till the bus services start. So next we have to go to McLeod Gunge and the first bus to McLeod Gunge was at 6.30 in the morning. So the bus stand had a canteen upstairs so I went there had a bread omelette and just waited till it became 6.30. And finally I got my bus and it costed me only 30 to 40 rupees to reach my Claude Gunge. This is the main center of McLeod Gunge and from here we will be going to Dharamkot. And from here take the left road that goes up and continue on the same road. And truly McLeod Gunge is one beautiful village in the mountains. At first I thought walking in the mountains would not be that difficult but... <laughs> oh bhai saab, meri to hawa nikal gai. And finally my destination was in sight. And I was so happy to see the orange board of the Zostel. So in Dharamkot, I'm staying at the Zostel Dharamkot and quite an amazing place. It just costed me 550 rupees for a night and their Salvation Cafe was amazing. So I was just sitting in the cafe and then I met this guy, Saurav, aka the Farzi Bong. <laughs> and together we decided to hire a cab and explore McLeod Gunge. And this was an amazing deal. I will drop the driver's details in the description. So the first place that we visited was the Bhaksunak temple. Now from the temple itself, there is a way that goes to the Bhaksunak waterfall. So roughly you will have to walk for another 30 to 40 minutes to reach the Bhaksunak waterfall. And after that, we went to this monastery. So Dharamshala also happens to be known as the home of the Dalai Lama. So you find a lot of Buddhist monasteries over here. So after visiting the monastery, we went to visit the church of St. John in the wilderness. Then next we went to visit the Naddi viewpoint. So after we spent some time over here admiring the beauty, it was time to take a tea break. So next we will be going to visit the tea garden. So they have a wide variety of tea that you can try from and I would personally recommend this one. It was so refreshing and it was nothing like green tea. So next we went to visit the state war memorial. Now before going to our next place, we decided to have a lunch and then we went to the Norvalinga Institute. 
So the thing is this place is comparatively a bit far from all the other places and eventually everyone end up skipping this place. But I would say this one is definitely worth it and you should not skip this one. And finally to end this beautiful day, we headed up to the Karota Valley to watch the sun go down. And after watching the beautiful sunset, it was time to call it a day and also it was time to say goodbye to Saurabh. And then I went back to the Zostel and spent the rest of the evening at the Salvation Cafe. And next day at 7 in the morning, we started the 3 on the trek. And little was a knowing that this was gonna turn out to be one of the most magical treks of my life. And halfway through, you will reach a shop that claims to be one of the oldest chai shops. Now, I'm not sure about the facts, but the chai was really good. And then the magic happened. <laughs> oh wait, I totally forgot to introduce my trekking partner, Aubrey. Let's rewind a little. Oh, there she is. So me and Aubrey happened to be in the same bus from Dharamshala to McLeod Ganj. But we never interacted or spoke to each other in the bus. But later at night, we ran into each other in the Zostel and we happened to be in the same dorm. So we just had a small conversation and then over a wimp, we decided to do the Triun trek together. And I'm glad I did the trek with Aubrey because she was such an amazing company. So on an average, it takes about three to four hours to do the ascend. And what people usually do is once they are at the top, they camp for the night and next day morning, they do the descent. But me and Aubrey, we decided to do the ascend and descend on the same day. So it roughly took us the entire day to complete this trek. So the Triun trek happens to be one of the most easiest and also one of the most beautiful treks over here. Uh, you can do it individually, there are signs that will guide you or you can even do with a group. So that would be a totally different experience. For me, this experience itself was so overwhelming because in fact, this was one of the first, actually the very first snowfall experience of my life. And it was absolutely magical. So after taking rest for some time, we were all charged up and it was time to do the descent. And on our way back, it started raining. So basically, we experienced the sun, the rain, the snow, all in the same day. So on our way back, we drank another cup of chai and just went back to the hostel and took rest. Also, don't forget to try out all the Israeli dishes over here. Since Dharamkot is an Israeli village, you should definitely try the Israeli dishes. And next day morning, a Japanese, a German, an American and an Indian, along with the umbrellas and raincoats, went to Tushita Meditation Center. So from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. they have a one hour meditation session and it is absolutely free. But if you feel like you're always welcome to give a small donation. And I just realized that I never showed you guys around Dharamkot. So let's have a small sneak peek of the Dharamkot village.
and now it was time to head back so i walked down all the way to mclord gunge and from mclord gunge i took a share cab it just costed me 20 rupees and i reached the dharamshala bus stand and i had my dinner from the same canteen from where i started off the journey <laughs> and this time i booked a local hrtc bus all the way to delhi and costed me just 800 rupees and that brings us to the end of this wonderful journey a big thank you to all the amazing people whom I met on the way. It has truly been a wonderful experience. And thank you guys for watching the videos. If you liked it, please do like, share and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.